So you're thinking about moving to Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Well, in this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about Mount Juliet. We're gonna dive into my computer and show you on Google Maps where everything is located so you can get a better understanding what Mount Juliet has to offer. You will also get a little bit of a better understanding if you have watched our full vlog tour where everything is located, what we cover on our full vlog tour. So if you haven't watched that video, definitely check that out. We're gonna talk about all the fun stuff there is to do in Mount Juliet, where it is located, how far it is located, for example, from downtown Nashville, how far it is located from the airport, all the cool stuff there is to do in Mount Juliet, like shopping opportunities, the good restaurants, more adventurous stuff to do in Mount Juliet. So that being said, let's get after it right now. This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Nashville, Tennessee or surrounding areas like Mount Juliet, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notification so you can be the first to know about the cured market in Nashville. My name is Indro and my team and I, we get daily calls from people like you who are looking to make their move to Nashville and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, happy to help you make a smooth move to Nashville. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna dive into my computer. Um, I'm gonna show you on Google Maps all the stuff you need to know about Mount Juliet so you can make a well-informed decision if you would consider moving down to Mount Juliet. So let's not waste any more time and getting after it right now. All right, so as you can see, Mount Juliet is located right here. It is located actually east from Nashville and it is about a 30 minute drive from uh, Mount Juliet, let's say the center point of Mount Juliet. You practically go down here and then you take I-40 and it goes all the way down to Nashville downtown. So that probably would take you about a 30 minute drive. Uh, again, depending if you are closer to the interstate, it will be a little bit less than 30 minutes. And if you live a little bit more on the outskirts, a little bit more up north, you definitely will maybe need a couple of extra minutes. So if you wanna to go to the airport, you basically take the same route. You just go down here, take I-40, sorry for my bad painting skills but it takes you all the way down here to the National, Nashville International Airport. And that will probably take you about 18, I'm sorry again for my bad painting skills. I guess I was never a good uh, artist or artistic talent in high school anyway. <laughs> but it will take you about, like I said, 18 to 20 minute drive to the Nashville airport which is not that bad. It is actually in a pretty good location. And as you know, Mount Juliet, or may not know, Mount Juliet is called the city between the lakes. And it's pretty obvious why, because up north, we got here Old Hickory Lake. And if we go south, we got Percy Priest Lake. Now, which is really great about Mount Juliet is if you are a fan of, you know, if you're an outdoorsy person and you're, you like the fish, you like the boating you are definitely in the right spot because mount juliet gives you access to old hickory lake and gives you access to percy priest lake now mount juliet at this point has about um a little bit over forty-one thousand uh, residents so it is a city that has grown a lot um and that's what we can see as well they're doing everything they can uh, infrastructure wise especially on this road they're trying to expand the roads because unfortunately with the growth of the city uh, let's say uh, the roads cannot handle the traffic and if we take a little bit of a closer look let's start up north so we got cedar creek marina right here which is located up north of mount juliet so this gives you access of course to the water of old hickory lake um here as well which is the cedar creek yacht club which is a really nice place but it requires a membership to get access to their facilities if we go a little bit more uh, below 
you could say this is the main road actually that go, runs through Mount Juliet, which is the Mount Juliet Road. Um, and if we go right here, we got Cedar Creek Sports Center, which is a recreation center, which is really cool, uh, especially for the family. You can uh, putt putt golf there. Um, you can go kart. You have batting cages. And let me see. I'll uh, give you a little bit of a better understanding how it looks like. So as you can see, is here you got the go kart course. This is the putt putt fun center for the putt putt golf. Um, and here is the actual uh, easy fit golf golf course. So this is a really cool place. You definitely want to check that out. All right. Now, if we go a little bit more uh, below, uh, we got Charlie Daniels Park, which is a really great park. Um, and I will change my screen as well so you can get a better understanding. So what uh, Charlie Daniels Park offers is it has a huge playground for children and it also has several tennis courts. It also has a really nice um, walking or hiking trail around the park. So again, um, this is a re really nice place if you are into sports or you would love to hang out with your children and want to take them to the playground. This is definitely one of the most beautiful playgrounds in Mount Juliet. And if we go a little bit further below, we got this nice farmer's market right here. So if you like organic food, uh, really great vegetables and other organic products, this is definitely the place to be. All right. So as you can see, this is the main road where all uh, different eatery, where all the, so as you can see, this is the main road, Mount Juliet Road, where all the, let's say, commercial stuff is. So this is a veterinary hospital, places to eat. We got a Sonic, Billy Goat Coffee Cafe, Gourmet Donuts, definitely really, really good donuts. Um, slim Chickens, we got a Kroger right here. Um, and if we go a little bit more below, more south at least, then you come right here, which is Mount Juliet train station. And if you've noticed, or if you have watched at least my full vlog tour, you will see that I start a video right there, because this is, um, let's say a little bit unique, at least in, in Middle Tennessee. This train station has a stop in Mount Juliet, or this train, this train station is located in Mount Juliet, but actually it is a train track that runs from Lebanon all the way to Nashville. And the cool thing about this train station, of course, is you know if you don't like to be in traffic or you don't have a car, um, and if you work in Nashville at least, you can just take the train. And I believe the train uh, comes by three times on different time frames in the morning and the same thing uh, in the evening. So if you would like to skip sometimes traffic on the interstate and you like to ride the train at least, that's definitely an option. And which is a little bit, like I told you, unique for Mount Juliet. Now right here is Ethan Page Disc Golf Course. This is a really nice place if you are a fan of disc golf. Disc golf. Um, to be honest, I really suck at it. <laughs> but again, if you're a fan of it, um, you definitely want to check that out. Then here we got the Jones Family Park, which is another park. Um, you know, if you like to hike or you like to walk or you like to take your dog outside, you definitely want to check that out as well. Now, if we go a little bit more south again, um, we will come right here on the exit of the interstate of I-40. And this is actually a little bit the main attraction of Mount Juliet, which is Providence Marketplace. We also covered that in our full vlog tour. Uh, so to give you a little bit of a better understanding what the center point is in Mount Juliet. And as you can see, everything uh, when it comes to shopping, groceries, um, eating places, it is all located in Providence Marketplace. So let's zoom in a little bit more. So as you can see, we got a TJ Maxx, Dick Sports Goods, we got a Target, Starbucks, Taco Bell, Gourmet Burger, Fred Robin Gourmet Burgers, plus Rose, really, really good place if you're a fan of burgers. They got really, really great burgers. Uh, we got Red Lobster Seafood. 
we got a Best Buy, Olive Garden Italian. Um, as you can see, there are so many options. The Kroger as well. So this is actually a little bit like I, um, like I told you, the center point of all the grocery stores, eating places, shopping places, which is all located in Providence Marketplace. Uh, now, when it comes to food, I like a night of uh, dining and I would definitely recommend the Goat in Mount Juliet, really, really good restaurant. If you're a fan of Indian, definitely check out uh, Percy's Biryani Indian Grill. Um, I would say those are like two recommendations uh, for really, really good food. But again, there are so many other great places to eat. So you definitely um, you know, won't miss out on any type of good food. Another thing, of course, is typical for um, Tennessee is some really good barbecue. And you definitely want to go to Martin's Barbecue Joint. Because I believe they're one of the best barbecue joints um, in Nashville and surrounding areas. They got a couple of um, places as well in Nashville. And this is also something really cool about Providence is they got their own movie theater. As you can see, everything when it comes to amusement and fine dining or regular dining, fast food, it doesn't matter. Uh, it is all located in Providence Marketplace. Now, the fun thing about Providence Marketplace is that everything surrounded are very, very um, friendly and it's pretty easy accessible. So if you like to walk towards Providence Marketplace, there's definitely an opportunity there because all these areas are have nice sidewalks. Now, if we go a little bit more east, we got another fun thing right here. Uh, if you want to let your dog out, this is a, a dog park. So if you would like to meet new uh, neighbors or fellow Mount Juliet residents, you definitely want to check this place. This is another great park, which is the Sergeant Jerry Mundy Memorial Park. We'll talk later on in this video about the different schools so you can get an understanding about the school ratings here in Mount Juliet. Because they really do have a great school rating here in Mount Juliet. And as well, it is a really good school district. So as I say, this is practically, let's say, a little bit the main area around Juliet. And then, which I believe is really nice about Mount Juliet, like I said, it is very family friendly. It is also rated as one of the safest um, cities or neighborhoods, at least in the United States, actually. It is a really, really safe place uh, for you and your family. Now, the cool stuff about Mount Juliet is in the center right here, you have, you know, a pretty, pretty urban feeling. But if you go a little bit more south right here, you get actually a nice country vibe, country feeling. You go into a little bit more like, like a nice green scenery, rolling hills, open pastures. So you really get the feeling that you're like a little bit on the countryside, yet you are still in Mount Juliet. And this is what is really nice about Mount Juliet. You got either way the option if you want to live pretty close towards the city center and get that really that urban feeling, or you can choose to go a little bit more south right here in this area where you can uh, live a little bit more like, let's say, um, on the outskirts of the city and still have that country feeling, you know, being a little bit more in nature instead of the city itself. Now, if we are looking right here, a little bit uh, left of the center, we got Juro Stables. If you are a fan of horseback riding, you definitely want to go check out that place. If you like to hike in the woods with a nice scenery around you, um, Juro Stables is definitely a really, really cool place. Now, if we go a little bit further, closer to Percy Priest Lake, we got Nashville Shores. And this is really, really an amazing place. It is just actually located outside Mount Juliet, but it is probably like maximum a 10, 10 minute drive. And this is a little bit located, as you can see, between Mount Juliet and Nashville, which is in Hermitage. Uh, but the cool thing about uh, Nashville Shores, I'll take you to another screen, to give you a little bit of a better understanding. So what Nashville Shores has to offer is they got a water park, as you can see, which is really, really fun. Especially if you have children, you definitely want to go check that out. Uh, another thing they have is a treetop adventure park. So if you're a, real, a little bit more of a daredevil, 
you can uh, go on the Tarzan swings, giant zip lines, and many other thrilling elements. So it has a lot of stuff to offer, not only for children, but also for the adults. Another cool thing they have is lodging opportunities. They got an RV side, they got cabins, um, they got lakeside cabins, and they're not that expensive actually to uh, rent. So as you can see, they got 24 lakeside cabins located on the banks of Percy Priest Lake and seven hillside cabins um, overlooking the water park. They also have an opportunity to rent a boat or jet ski. So this is definitely a really great place if you want to have a day or a couple of days, uh, a lot of fun. And if you're an outdoorsy person, then you definitely want to go check out the Nashville Shores Lakeside Resort. And in this combined, it is a 385 wooded acre uh, domain, which is really, really big, of course. So if we go a little bit more uh, south, like I told you, you come in a little bit more of a countryside feeling where you got a lot more nice green scenic views, a lot of trees, open pastures. Um, and this was an area, the area, if you would, if you checked out my full vlog tour where we went to our last home. And as you could probably saw, or as you could see in that video, um, there were some like rolling hills, beautiful views. And we even um, did a little bit of drive by in the direct neighborhood. So you can get an idea about the beautiful scenery there is in this area. Now, if we go a little bit more closer to actually to Percy Priest Lake, we got another really great park here, which is a Long Hunter State Park. And the cool thing here is there's actually a nice hiking trail that takes you around the lake, which gives you a really nice view, really nice scenery going on a hike. You know, Mount Juliet has so much to offer. Um, and I would say definitely what makes Mount Juliet attractive is, at least for me, is that it has everything you need for daily life. It has Providence Marketplace with all the grocery stores, other stores, um, eating, dining places. Um, so you literally have everything you need. And another plus point about Mount Juliet is it is literally between Percy Priest Lake right here and Old Hickory Lake. So if you're into um, boating, fishing, kayaking, any type of water sports, let's say you are in heaven if you live in Mount Juliet, because it is only literally like a 10 minute drive either up north or south and you are at the water, which is just awesome. So this kind of like wraps it up about all the stuff there is to do in Mount Juliet. But before we um, end this video, I would like to show you at least um, the different schools that are located in Mount Juliet. And as you can see, they practically all have a good rating. Uh, we got WA Wright Elementary School right here, which has an A rating according to niche.com. We got Mount Juliet Middle School has an A minus rating. Rutland Elementary School has an A rating. Mount Julian Christian Academy B plus. Springdale Elementary School, A rating. West Wilson Middle School has A rating. And Stone Creek Elementary School, A minus rating. Now, the only uh, school which is not on here, um, for some reason, it doesn't show it. But the other school, to the two different lakes that are close to Nashville, which is Old Hickory Lake and Percy Priest Lake. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you get a little bit of a better understanding what Mount, where Mount Juliet is located, um, what Mount Juliet has to offer. And if you haven't watched my full vlog tour on Mount Juliet, I definitely recommend doing that so you can get a little bit of a better understanding what Mount Juliet looks like um, and what you can get and what different type of homes in a different price point category. Uh, so you can also get a better understanding of what might not fit in your ballpark. So thanks for watching until next time. And I hope to see you around town.